Hey, what's up? It's Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today, kind of trying out the new webcam I got, the Logitech 4K Pro webcam, and uh, kind of figured I'd use this opportunity uh, testing it out here to talk a little bit about the overall kind of video recording setup that I have in general. Um, so you can probably tell that I'm, you know, in the background. I usually don't show this in most of the videos I produced. Um, but uh, I kind of want to give this as a little baseline to uh, kind of show you what all the things that go into like turning, um, you know, hanging out at a computer chair <laughs> into uh, green screen backgrounds and uh, creating actual like video content for the purposes of marketing tortoise and hair software and how you can do this to grow. Uh, your business or your personal brand or just kind of get into the whole creator economy in general um, so you know first off you know got the webcam here uh, just upgraded from a Logitech C920 which was uh, kind of not cutting it anymore to a uh, 4k pro and the video looks great um, I'm in a relatively dark room right now and like this would have been unusual, unusable on the C4920 because it would have just uh, looked awful. Um, you can see that there's, um, if you look kind of over here, you can see that there's a little bit of signal noise on whatever color that is back there on one of those metals or something. Um, but that signal noise would have been all over this video um, with the C920, but it looks great on the 4K much better like white balancing exposure um, and then uh, just picture quality in general so uh, looks great um, so definitely recommend that one I tried two or three other webcams kind of between because uh, uh, between the C920 and the 4k Pro 4k Pro is like two hundred dollars but um, so it's a little bit of expense, expensive as far as webcams go, um, but uh, and I don't I know I don't need 4K resolution in my videos because uh, uh, YouTube's max resolution that they really show is um, I believe the 1920 by 1080 um, so 1080p quality. Um, so anything higher than that is going to be kind of downscaled, but um, you know it's it still makes a difference in uh, the picture quality uh, as it goes into the end video um, but so got the webcam um, that's kind of the first start um, I'm using uh, OBS studio um, for video capture um, and kind of like you know doing like the pre-editing um, you know video uh, production of filming or whatever you want to call it and um, I'm in, I'm gonna show you um, kind of the behind the scenes here in a second, but basically like I am in what's known as kind of like a scene with the within the OBS Studio software. And I've compiled like four or five different like scenes that I use in the like filming of different videos. And then I can switch between those scenes to kind of seamlessly transition to, um, you know, one, Thing or the other so I'm gonna switch over here from a talking full screen scene to a talking so um, you can kind of see I've put the scene here so my body profile is a little bit of a kind of like certain size um, within a um, background and I've um, scaled the canvas down um, and then I can put like you know some uh, a title for the video and some whatever other things I might want to add to the scene um, and then I have one that has like no background for just like kind of branded pitches if you will um, I've got one for screen capture um, so um, this is like OBS studio and got a little bit of inception here um, but you can kind of see I've set up all these various scenes for um, within the OBS Studio software to um, um, so yeah so that's kind of what I use and there's various settings that you um, kind of import into them like you can see 
um, in the screen capture here. I've set, I've imported like a webcam object, a display capture object for the screen, a, a blue snowball object for the audio capture, um, and yeah. Which kind of brings me to my next point is what are we actually using for audio capture? Um, and you can use your webcam, but I have a secondary audio capture device here, which is a blue snowball. Hopefully my sound hasn't gone to crap when I'm moving that around, but um, the blue snowball is what I'm using for audio capture. Um, and that's good because it can help like eliminate background noise um, and just has like a much like higher quality um, audio capture. Now I haven't tried the default audio capture for this 4K Pro webcam, but it might actually be better than the C920, but the blue snowball was definitely superior in audio capture compared to the C920's like webcam audio. But um, a lot of people will have a kind of like, you know, aftermarket audio capture device um, for podcasting or uh, just like doing this creator stuff. Um, so covered the webcam, covered the software that I'm using, covered the audio capture device. Um, next kind of piece here is the green screen. So take a quick peek at the green screen. <laughs> so you can see that this is actually green, but I've um, filtered out the chroma key, um, short for kind of like a color key. Uh, of green from this video, so you can't actually see green in the video, which is probably why there's some signal noise on that thing back there. Yeah, that's green. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was like super cheap to build. Um, basically, I went to Ace Hardware and got some PVC piping here. Um, two kind of long pieces of piping, a couple of these little like T joints down here, and then a couple of angle joints here. Um, so basically what I do is I fasten a couple of these smaller PVC pipe, pipe pieces that I cut out onto the T-joint. And I do that for you know, both of the pieces here. And then I have this other piece of PVC piping, which I got a green cloth from Hobby Lobby and have kind of uh, created here is the crossbar, if you will. Um, so that's the crossbar and then kind of, you know, unravel this. smoother <laughs> when I'm not doing it live on a camera. Um, yeah, fully unravel. You know, kind of connect that up. Boom. Um, you can see the green screen back here. Might position it a little bit closer to the background. Um, and I've replaced it with white in some of my other videos. Um, but kind of the next scene here, as you can see, there's like also like a ton of signal noise when putting the screen screen back here and one of the main reasons for that is that it's uh there's not enough lighting in here so uh, i'm gonna open up some blinds here you can see that's helped a little bit now i don't have like studio quality lighting in here but i also got these like um lights here that are just like little halogen bulb type lights that are rechargeable from Walmart 
and they help add additional lighting to the scene um, if needed and you can kind of see how that like reduces the signal noise a bit um, but also I tune the chroma key capture because you know depending on if it's raining or other lighting conditions when then within the like uh, room that I'm in here the shade of green changes a little bit so um, you have to like tweak the chroma key each time um, and that's something you can do with an OBS studio like to help with the um, capture and uh, and it's a uh, I can also come over here to my webcam software and increase the zoom a little bit to make sure that the um, green screen captures the whole frame or whatever um, but yeah so this doesn't look the best but I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on just like the whole um, setup process for um, the actual making the green screen look good but just kind of wanted to show you that real quick um, so I'll take that down real fast But uh, yeah, so anyways, so that was kind of an overview of the setup and um, you know what I'm doing to make some of these uh, YouTube videos that I've been producing. Um, and then kind of once the video is actually recorded and um, initial filming is done, I'm using either Adobe Premiere or Adobe Premiere Rush to publish the videos. Um, Premiere Rush is basically like a super stripped down of post-production like um, editing software and it's really great for just doing like super sh just like trim the edges of the video, add in transitions and then I'll add in like my little like YouTube outro thing um, or add the YouTube intro on top of on the beginning of the video so highly recommend that one for just like super basic um, editing um, Adobe Premiere is more fully featured allows you to do things like adjust audio levels um, you can also trim the video um, make clips within within it add um, other sequences import other media um, and then kind of the last thing that's more advanced is um, after Effects, um, Adobe After Effects, and that's how I've made kind of my YouTube outro on the um, on the videos, and that's where you can do more like um, transitions where like your text kind of swoops in in like a circular motion, and then like flashes on the screen, and um, a lot of the like animated explainer videos that you see for like SaaS companies and things like that. Are built using like um, After Effects. Um, so those are kind of the three um, post-production video editing uh, software things. And then a lot of times for promotion slash distribution, I'm just uploading the stuff to uh, YouTube manually. Um, the platforms, uh, uh, social media platforms natively, but a lot of times the videos I make are too long for the social platforms. So most of the time it's push it to YouTube and then put a link from YouTube to the video over on social media. Um, and you can use auto posting sort of stuff. Um, I use Publer, but there's also Hootsuite, Buffer, and several other tools for like the kind of distribution side. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the creator setup I've, uh, you know, got here for producing uh, uh, YouTube content, social media content, and um, creating those videos to help you uh, market your brand. Highly recommend it. Um, video has been a huge part of um, expanding the kind of reach of the Tortoise and Hare website and uh, helps generate leads and kind of demonstrate your 
um, thought leadership content in a more um, personal way than you know just writing a blog post. Blog posts definitely have their place. Um, you know, sometimes uh, the written word is better for certain uh, things like how-to tutorials, um, where you know people need to like want a static media and um, just want to like look at screenshots and things like that. But um, video is really great for just like kind of talking through things um, and of course showing stuff in the real world just like this. So um, that's my setup. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching.